days. Lost. Two days in a stinking cell on blown-up charges. That stupid, stupid policeman. If I see him again... Yes? Alcatraz, who do you wish to talk to? Nico? Candice? Where have you been? Staying with friends. The boss is after you. Thanks for the warning. Keep him off my back, would you? I'll try. Thanks. See you. Bye. I still hadn't found what was so special about the dead guy. I'd bought the TV and DVD player some time ago, but had hardly had the chance to use it. My battered old phone had seen better days. I thought I should check my messages. You have... new... messages. Nico! It's André! Uh, just a quick call to let you know I'm back in town. The trip was quite a success, and I'd love to tell you about it. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I've got a very important word for you. Soffits. Now, when was the last time you checked your soffits? Hmm, I thought so. Well, I am calling from the Stop It Rotting Soffit Company, and I want to tell you about the Socket to em Soffit Offer. A 50% discount on all soffits ordered before the end of the month. Just remember, your soffits say a lot about you. Why not let us stop the rot in your life? Oh, and don't worry about calling us. I'll call you back. Nico, this is your editor. Remember me? Where in hell have you been for the last two days? What's all this nonsense about being arrested? Give me a call as soon as you get this message. Perhaps I should make a call. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. Andre Lobino? Hi, Andre. Nico, where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for two days. The police arrested me. What? Are you crazy? What happened? They held me in the cells for two days on trumped-up charges and then released me without a word of apology. Why on earth did they arrest you at all? I was framed for the murder of someone I was about to interview. My God, that's awful! Are you all right? No, I'm furious! But Andre, there's something really weird going on. It's more than a simple homicide. Oh dear, here we go. Another of your mysterious investigations. What do you mean? At least that idiot Stobar isn't involved this time. Not that again, Andre! Okay, okay. I just hope the trail hasn't gone cold. What are you going to do now? Look for more clues, I suppose. There's a safe in the apartment, hidden under the floor. In the coder's apartment? That's right. Seems to me you need to find the combination for that safe. Andre, I'm going to get back to the investigation. Okay, Nico. Oh, and what I said earlier, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Andre. I ask for it sometimes. But you know, George, he was a lot of things. But he was never an idiot. If you need my help, be sure to call me. Perhaps I should make a call. Better check in with my paper. The news desk? Hi, Candice. Is he in? He's in another meeting. He phoned me and left a message on my machine. I'll get him to call you when he's free. Bye now. I considered leaving the apartment and decided to visit Vonnen's place. She asked so many questions. Odd questions. If you ask me, she wasn't really a reporter. She knows you are a witness. <laughs> Not that I want to worry you. You're right. I saw her entering the poor boy's apartment. Then I heard the shots. I don't know how you sleep. That's her! 
Hello. Bonjour. You're that reporter that came round a couple of days ago. That's right. I had nothing more to ask her. Bonjour. <gasps> Bonjour, mademoiselle. I thought you'd been arrested. They released me. I didn't kill him. You made a mistake, Edith. Oh, I don't think so. About the woman you saw. I'm looking at her right now. Are there any details you can remember that might help? I told the police everything. Why should I tell you? Because she tried to frame me for murder. Ha! Huh? What do you take me for? A character in some kind of detective story? She's had a nasty shock. She's not the only one. She did tell me something. Something she overheard Vernon say. Go on. It could be important. He said... The... The power was building up. And he mentioned a manuscript. I don't know if that helps. It might. Thanks. The police had done a very good job sealing the crime scene. The flat had been securely locked up. I could see the key in the keyhole inside the door. I had to find out why Vernon wanted to see me, and why he was killed before he got the chance. This was an old trick, but it might just work. Let's see whether those old TV shows were accurate. Aha! Gently does it. It worked. The key landed neatly on the paper. The lock opened with a satisfying click. A box of tissues stood on the counter. A girl should never be without a tissue. <laughs> I had a pretty good idea who was going to be behind the door. Poor thing looked as though she'd been crying for days. Excuse me, Beatrice. Why have you come here? Didn't the police arrest you? They released me. I didn't kill Vernon, but I saw the woman who did. What do you want with me? I want to help. Go away! Here. I understand if you don't want to talk. <laughs> Thanks. Can I ask you about Vernon? He was very anxious to meet you. What did he want to talk to me about? Do you know? Not the details. He was acting so strangely. Go on. He said his life was in danger. Wouldn't let me come up to the flat. We had to meet in the gardens. Why was he so scared? It was those people. Who? I don't know. They paid Vernon to crack some old manuscript. I don't know why it was such a big deal. Anyone can see the manuscript on the internet. So did he crack it? Of course. Vernon's the best. He was the best. <laughs> so what happened then? 
They told him to keep quiet. Threatened him. That was six months ago. So he risked his life to speak to me. But why now? He said it was all coming true. What was? He wouldn't tell me. The stuff in the manuscript, I suppose. Do you know anything about Vernon's safe? Only that he's got one somewhere. You don't know the combination? No. It would have to be easy to remember, though. Vernon had a terrible memory. Really? I used to laugh because he was always asking me my birthday. Go on. What's your birthday again, babe? He'd say. 23rd of October. Same every year, I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Beatrice. I'll leave you alone now. No! Wait! What about that woman? What if she comes back? Don't worry. She won't. What are you going to do? I'm going to find her and get to the bottom of this. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. If you think of anything, or just need to talk, I'm at 361 Rue Jarry. Thanks. I appreciate it. Piecing together the information from Beatrice, I figured that her birth date was the combination I needed. Et voilà! There were only two things inside a hand-drawn diagram, and a DVD disc. Vernon claimed the diagram had some importance. The DVD disc didn't have a label. I didn't care who it was for. A reporter has to get her leads where she can. I just needed a DVD player to view it on. I had the DVD, and now I needed to take a look at its contents. Going back to my place was the best option. What the? My God! That was close! That was the sports car I was looking for earlier. Hello again. I'm surprised to see you. They had no evidence. In the end, they had to let me go. What do you know about Inspector Surat? I can tell you only one thing. He's tough, but fair. That's two things. I guess it's your lucky day. Do you recognize this diagram? Very interesting. Of course, you're holding it upside down. But what is it? The emblem of the alien fleet. Terrific. Thanks. I'd best be on my way. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. I considered leaving the area and decided to visit my apartment. My hands trembled as I slid the disc into the slot. What was so important that it got Vernon killed? If you are watching this mouse, then, well, you, you know what's happened. The whole world is in danger, Beatrice. The manuscript those people paid me to decode had a secret. A, a deadly secret. Though I didn't know it at the time. Do you know all those earthquakes and the crazy weather I've been going on about? They were predicted in the manuscript. 
Turns out it's quite famous. Called the Voynich Manuscript. People have been trying to crack it for years, and I beat them to it. Me, Vernon Blier. I haven't decoded everything, but what I've seen is enough. It talks of a power so great, it could destroy the whole of mankind. It flows continually around the Earth along routes known as ley lines. The Chinese call them dragon lines. You know, an ancient civilization even learned how to use this energy, and it brought them great power. They became greedy. They lost control. The power surged. It almost destroyed the world. Beatrice, the people who paid me want to harness this power. And if they do, it is the end of the world. For real! You'll find a diagram with this. It's important, but I haven't worked out why. Yet, two things I know are very important. Something called the Key of Solomon and the strange phrase, devils and witches dance with cows on the Sabbath. The more I work on the manuscript, the, the more confused I become and the more I fear for my life. Whatever happens, Baus, I love you. I'd wanted a big story. Now it looked as though I'd found one. But what did it all mean? I was going to need help. Perhaps I should make a call. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. Andre Lobino? Hi, Andre. It's good to hear from you. I do worry about you, you know. Oh, Andre, you are sweet. I've got a serious problem, Andre. I really need your help. Tell me about it, and I'll see what I can do. The guy who died? The one you went to interview? That's him. He left me a message recorded onto a disc. How terribly dramatic. A voice from beyond the grave. This is serious, Andre. In his message, he says he managed to decipher something called the Voynich Manuscript. Hmm. Also, do you know anything about the Key of Solomon? I need to see this for myself. I'll see you at your place. Whatever happens, Baus, I love you. If even one-tenth of that is true... We have to assume it is, André. Let's summarize what he's told us. Something called the Voynich Manuscript suggests that an ancient civilization used a power that ran through the Earth itself. And someone is trying to use that power today, possibly in the process causing earthquakes. That strange diagram and something called the Key of Solomon has, as yet unknown, significance. I have no idea what the diagram is, but I know about the Key of Solomon. What does it unlock? It's a fabled book that holds the wisdom of Solomon. What else was there? Devils and witches dancing with cows on the Sabbath. Devils and witches were reputed to have danced on the Ile Saint-Louis. Part of that island used to be called Ile aux Vaches. Cow Island. There's a significant connection to the Ile Saint-Louis. If we could only pinpoint it more closely. What could it mean, André? We're going to have to be methodical about this. You say the Key of Solomon is a book? Yes. There are even ancient Hebrew manuscripts that are claimed to be the real thing. But genuine scholars doubt their authenticity. Perhaps the real thing contains further information on this. What do you think that pattern represents? It looks a bit like a spider. Andre, this is serious. Do you think it could have anything to do with the lines of energy he mentioned? Maybe this is where the power lines meet up. Brilliant! That's it! But how does that help us? What's the significance of the Ile Saint-Louis? I have no idea. Perhaps we need a connection to another piece of information. Do you think there is a theatrical link to the island? You need to do some research. I know just the place to phone.
Perhaps I should make a call. Better check in with my paper. News desk? I need you to help me. That's what I'm here for? You're a resting actress, so you might know this. Is there a theatrical connection to the Ile Saint-Louis? There's an old theater on the island. I knew some people who were trying to get it reopened a few years back. But it's been condemned for the last five years. Does it have a name? Leoglyph. Thanks. I owe you one. Bye now. What could it mean, André? We're going to have to be methodical about this. André, do you know anything about a theatre called Leoglyph? On the Ile Saint-Louis? Yes. No. I'm going to have to investigate then. I considered leaving my apartment. André, I'm going to hunt down some more clues. It's a bit late to go poking around an old theatre. I'll be fine. Typical. Hello? Remember me, your boss? Ah. Where the hell have you been? In jail. How come you didn't bail me out? We are a bit low on resources right now, Nico. Which is why I have a new assignment for you. I'm still working on the dead hacker story. That's old news. I want you to... I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Drop the case. No! Someone framed me. You don't get to choose, Nico. That's not the deal. In that case, I quit. You know, I feel better for that. There's just the question of how you'll pay the bills and eat. Something will come up. You sound like your friend, Georges. The theater looked as if it had been abandoned for years. I wondered if it was really the right place. I was going to have to get inside to find out. <laughs>